Senior Secretary of Finance David Atalig responding to a House Special Committee review of hundreds of documents related to COVID-19 spending. I'm confident that uh, we've done our due diligence. I'm confident that we've done um, procurement based on the emergency regulations. Officials remain at odds on the issue of cabinet member pay. Secretary, I wanted to respectfully ask if you yourself have received any overtime, supplemental, or what's being called COVID-19 pay. Uh, no, I have not received any overtime. Um, I did submit my overtime or my hours work during COVID-19. And so there is records of me submitting um, the cost of my time. Atalik explained that all workers, including the cabinet, signed a Category B form, which he says is required by FEMA for reimbursement, including the reason for COVID-19 work. He says more review needs to be done in order for finance to make any payments. Cabinet members and some directors were paid, uh, they were paid additional, additional time in terms of their, their pay during the COVID. They were paid one-to-one. -one. No cabinet members would, um, received you know, 1.5 or as people are alluding to at times with uh, how things were done at YouTube, 2.5. So nothing was uh, paid. Um, we only paid straight time. Um, and most of the time, straight time after they've uh, um, worked over 80 hours. Lieutenant Governor Arnold Palacios also weighing in as the administration seeks guidance. Whether or not those, those processes uh, uh, will hold water uh, is still a question. And so as far as the COVID, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm assured by, by the Secretary of Finance that no overtime pay has been uh, paid out. Tomas Manglotnia for KUAM News on Saipan.